Hello, hello everyone. It's Colin Finlay here, the owner and director of The Seller Store down in New Zealand. And welcome to today's episode of The Seller TV. So today we're going to be going right into one of my favourite regions of them all. And we're going to have a whole series devoted just to this particular region because I'm particularly fond of it and particularly proud of it as a winemaking region. I'm not from there at all, but it is one of the regions which I'm actually very, very, very excited about. Uh, and I'm a little bit biased, perhaps, because uh, I do import a bunch of these wines myself. So I am a little bit of a specialist in this particular region. And so the region that we're looking at today is New York State. Uh, not many people think of New York State as far as sort of wine is concerned, uh, but it is a very, very important state. We'll get into a little bit more of a bio uh, of the actual state um, a little bit later in another video. But today we're going to be trying one of my favorite wines of the whole entire state, and it's from the Finger Lakes region. In particular, well, here's a little close-up for you. So it's Herman J. Weimer, Herman J. Weimer Vineyard, and this is their reserve uh, dry Riesling. It's from the 2014 vintage. So, uh, as I said, it's from the Finger Lakes region, so it's about five to six hours, depending on uh, how you're getting up there, uh, from New York City, uh, upstate New York, and it's about an hour and a half, perhaps, uh, south from Niagara Falls. So it's quite, it does get quite cold up there. Uh, and in particular, Herman J. Weimer, they are one of the sort of oldest producers in the whole entire state, and they're based on the Seneca Lake, so that's the main lake in the Finger Lakes. I uh, will get a bit of a picture up for you later, but there is sort of Finger Lakes like this, and then there's the big main lake down in the middle, and that Seneca Lake, that's where most of the wineries are based, and that's where Herman J. Weimer is. Anyway, so this is, is Reserve uh, Dry Riesling, and you might be interested to know, because they do have quite a few different vineyards themselves, and the actual makeup of this particular vintage is 20% comes from the Magdalena vineyard, 40% uh, from the original Herman J. Weimer vineyard, and another 40% from their Joseph uh, vineyard, or Joseph vineyard. Very, very well balanced, and comes in, weighs in at 12.5%, uh, and it's just lovely. All right, so on the nose, let's give it a sniff. Mm. So what I love about this wine, and what I love about all their wines, is it's just so complex. There is so much going on here, which makes these wines actually very, very good value. Uh, so on the nose here already, you are getting a little bit of that sort of Germanic influence there. So there is a little bit of that sort of minerality, that slatiness, that sort of stoniness, those sort of crushed stones, crushed seashell sort of um, flavors coming through as well. But especially as it sort of uh, opens up. Again, I have decanted this about an hour, uh, an hour, hour and a half ago. Um, and so this is becoming a little bit more open now. And you can start to get a whole bunch more of these sort of floral characteristics as well. In particular, there's sort of this sort of, um, um, sort of lavender sort of flavor comes through, a little bit of citrus blossom. Some honeysuckle comes through there as well. So quite a, quite a bit there. And some white floral, some, well, gardenia-ish, daisy perhaps. Uh, but then this lovely sort of fleshy uh, white stone fruit uh, flavor comes right through. So you are getting a whole lot of this sort of pear uh, comes through, a little bit of white nectarine comes through here, but very, very fleshy, very exciting. So it does sort of take you on a bit of a roller coaster ride the whole way through. But again, class, 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 and nothing but class. Anyway, let's give it a little taste. Mm. So again, what's so fantastic about the Herman J. Weimer wines, in fact many of the wines from up in that region, but Herman J. Weimer and the Reserve um, Dry Riesling in particular, is the fact that it is so well balanced. There is clearly a whole lot of really abundant stone fruit in here, and well, a lot of fruit ripeness uh, altogether. So you are getting quite a fleshy palate, and which is a little bit odd, perhaps, for a dry Riesling to be so sort of medium to full bodied. Nothing like a Chardonnay, nothing sort of up there, but definitely medium uh, bodied Riesling. So it is very fleshy, very quite uh, a lot of pellet weight here for sure. But what's quite interesting is that it does still have that acidity, but the acidity isn't piercing like you might uh, expect. Uh, the acidity there is just so well in balanced. It's very sort of a ripe acidity. Uh, and if you're familiar with um, many sort of Alsatian dry uh, Riesling, so from Alsace, up in the north of France, 
Um, it's very sort of akin to that sort of reasoning structure, not necessarily your piercing classic Germanic uh, reasoning acidity there. You know, I'm going to have to go back for another taste because that really was too delicious. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna finish the glass off let's be honest um, but not on the video I will, I will let you go home first but uh, anyway so on the palette the flavors here again a lot of that sort of abundantly stone fruit abundantly um, rich and tropical sort of fruit fruit flavors I'm getting a lot of uh, white peach again those pear a little bit of apple comes through here just a touch of uh, sort of an apricot flavor comes through and then this lovely sort of lemon uh, and sort of baked tangerine, a sort of beautifully slow cooked. If you can think of slow cooked tangerines or slow cooked oranges, and you have that sort of intenseness and concentrated citrus flavor comes through and just really sort of runs right out into this big long finish. Again, perfectly well balanced. The acidity there is there, so it's abundant, but it's not excessive uh, and it's not sort of overbearing. Again, so you're not having the sort of, you know, clenching your cheeks in and, and all the rest, that sort of puckering acidity. It's nothing like that at all. It's purely a structural element, but it's also light, you know. So it's, it's quite, a, you know, medium bodied, but it's just sort of light and pleasant. It's, it's nothing sort of overwhelming or clunky or anything else like this. It's probably one of the most well-balanced Rieslings I've ever had. Uh, and I'm very, very proud to be the person that is importing these into New Zealand now. Um, and anyway, so we've got this, we've got a few of the other Herman J. Weimer Rieslings, and in the years to come, we're going to be getting in quite a few more, no doubt, because they are proving very popular, uh, and they offer incredible value as well. Anyway, so check it out below, we've got the, uh, the URL uh, below in the little caption box and all the rest. Please do like, comment away, let us know if you've had any of the Herman J. Weimer wines, any other sort of New York wines, any sort of Dr. Frank or... Um, or boundary breaks or any of the others that we have that we import into into New Zealand. Let us know if you're um, wanting to let us try any other sort of New York wines or any other sort of wines from around uh, America, which we may not have uh, heard of or tried tried before. And please do, of course, share, subscribe um, with all your other wine loving friends and family. And of course. Well, I'm going back for another sip, and I recommend you getting yourself a bottle, of course, uh, just because it is so good. And of course, cheers.